Just recently I received the question, is the CompTIA A plus certification more valuable or the better choice compared to the Google IT support professional certification if you want to get into IT? It's an interesting question and both certifications really carry a certain value. They are kind of related but then they're different in many ways. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's video so that you can identify for yourself do you want to go after the A plus certification or do you want to go after the Google IT support professional certification? Hi, my name is Christoph Putz. I'm your IT career guide. Here on this YouTube channel, we talk about careers in information technology. If you're new here, please subscribe. The CompTIA A plus certification is around for decades. It's really though the, uh, I want to say the mother of all IT certifications related to help desk and system administration. It's the first step that many people took over the years to become A plus certified to show on their resume that they have the right knowledge, the skill set that a company needs for help desk related roles. So the CompTIA A plus certification is made out of two exams. These exams are not easy to pass and quite a few people fail the first time and then have to do it again. These exams are not cheap so there's a little money that you need to invest. Sometimes it's better to go and take a training class and sometimes these training classes come with like a voucher for the exam. So it, I want to say a big piece that you should not underestimate how difficult it can be to obtain the A plus certification. It can be difficult for you if you have really zero knowledge about computers, IT, networking, customer service, how to repair a computer, how to troubleshoot a computer. So if you have zero knowledge in this area, the CompTIA A plus certification is a good start for you because it gives you a structured approach to learn and understand really the basics, the foundation in information technologies. From that perspective, I really like the CompTIA A plus certification and it opens the door in many different ways. So on the other side is the Google IT support professional certification. So this is a fairly new certification. If you look at Google's offering in general for anything related to these career development, it's the Grow with Google initiatives that Google has started a couple of years ago. And the Google IT Support Professional Certificate was really one of the first ones that they put out there. And they used a company called Coursera to host this course. And there it's really easy for you to get access to the course. So there's not that you have to go and buy certain books or go to certain training classes. No, this is all done online. And uh, the Coursera web interface is really easy to use. So the platform that Google chose for their certification program is interesting and I think it's really easy to use. It's a great choice. The Google IT Support Professional Certificate, does it carry a lot of value? So if you compare the Google IT Support Professional Certificate to the CompTIA A plus certification, you definitely see the difference that CompTIA is more complex. There is more knowledge that you need to obtain to be able to pass. On the other side, the Google IT Support Professional Certificate seems a little easier. And I don't want to say easy in a certain way, especially if you come with zero knowledge. And that's probably where the value is of the Google IT support professional certification. So it's an easier course and certificate that you can obtain. You learn the basics, you learn foundation that you need to really get into IT as a help desk technician, be it in a call center or on site in an office or going to places to repair and troubleshoot uh, technical problems. So the Google IT support professional certificate really gives you those basics. You will learn about networking, you will learn Learn about troubleshooting, you learn about operating systems, you learn about customer service. So it's really a well-rounded training program. And sometimes if you already have a certain knowledge level, this certification can be enough to make your resume look interesting. And that's, I think, where value comes in from the Google IT certification here. So let's say you already have some knowledge, you feel confident that you can troubleshoot computers, you know the operating system that you want to support in and out. Uh, maybe you have even written scripts to automate certain things or you are tinkering at home with your home lab and build your own computers. That's where the Google IT support prof professional certificate comes in really handy because you go through the course, you pass it, you put this on your resume and then you send your resume to the company where you want to apply for a role. And this applies to both certifications. The first job is the most difficult one to get. So if you want to get into IT, you just have to prepare yourself that it will take a while before you land your role, especially if you come as a career changer. If you come from a college with a college degree, of course it's easier, but then your college degree also carries that value if you have one 
in information technology. The foundation, both certifications give you that. If you have knowledge already, the Google IT Support Professional certification might be just enough for you so that you can land your first job. And after that, it's like you go after the higher certifications. You go after Microsoft certifications or you become ITIL certified, whatever the case may be. So you can pick and choose at that point and you need to identify which career you want to get into. So, but that's the first job that you need. If you come with zero knowledge and you have no idea, all you know is you want to work in IT, you feel that you have the right level of interest. So if you are new to information technology, the CompTIA A plus certification provides you with the bigger value. So, and the value is not just by passing those two exams, but the structured approach that you have to take to learn the skill set, to learn the knowledge that is needed to pass these certifications. So that's, I think, where the big value is for these certifications. There are some companies that require you to be certified, and that's where the Google certification will fall flat. And there are a lot of managed services providers that require their technicians or administrators to be certified. And that's where the CompTIA A plus certification is pretty much the only choice. If you have to get certified, in this case, ignore the Google IT Support Professional Certificate, go after the CompTIA A plus certification. Working for an MSP is a different beast compared to being permanently employed at a company. So in these MSPs, they potentially have several customers where you would do work and they advertise their services with the information often that all their staff is certified and then they list certain certifications. So help desk technicians are CompTIA A plus certified. System administrators are Microsoft cloud certified, whatever it is. So you get the idea. So look at the value, look at where you're coming from, to identify if you want to go straight after the A plus certification or if you want to go after the Google certification. The Google certification could also be really your first step and it's a smaller investment. You get the certificate and then you go straight into the A plus certification. So at that point you already obtained a significant amount of knowledge and then it might be easier to obtain the CompTIA A plus certification. So don't underestimate the value that comes from the Google certification. So let me know in the comments below if you are certified in one of those two, if you want to become certified in one of these two certifications, or what is your idea of how you want to get into help desk roles or system administration roles, if you want to work more as a cloud system administrator or more like a Windows system administrator or become a DBA, a database administrator. So leave a comment down below. I would like to hear from you. So that's it for today. Please let me know if you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. Hit that little notification bell next to that subscribe button and you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And with that being said, I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.